position to make plays, and you know that's all you can ask for as a DB is to have the opportunity to make plays. First day of pads, how did you feel? Like it? I, mean, I know it wasn't take to the ground, but it seemed like you guys were getting after. Yeah, the first day of pads, you know, uh, everybody's gonna be amped up and ready to go. So it was a good first day. What kind of differences do you see in the secondary this year? Um, you know, he says you're putting you guys in position to make plays. I know that they've talked about freelancing you a little bit more and things like that, but what other changes are there? Every, is, the, it, is it going to be na- you know, noticeable to the eye, or is it more subtle changes? I think it's uh, the change, the biggest changes within the DBs. You know, uh, guys are holding each other accountable. You know, you know everybody's looking for everybody to make plays. It's, it's no longer the... Oh, you are a money guy. You're this. You're this. Right. You know, everybody's out there ready to make plays, and that's a big thing for us. As a safety, you're the kind of the quarterback of everything. But with two new corners on there, do you kind of have to take over a little bit more of the leadership role back there? You know, with uh, with Shante and uh, Ryan, those, those are older guys. You know, they know the game, so it's not it's not as much us trying to line them up because they're they're pros. You know, they get in their playbooks and they know what they're doing. Was that you with you in the practice down on the ground, mixing up? We kind of setting it. Setting the tone out there? No, nah, it, it was nothing like that. You know, that was out of character for me. It was just, you know, it was camp. You know, everybody, everybody, first day of pass, you know, everybody's amped up, like I said, so. So it was out of character. What happened? No, just a little scamp, a camp, camp squabble. You know, nothing major. We just got into it. You have never gotten into a camp fight. Yeah, I know, man. It's out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Being, under, oh, being under a few different coaches now, how do you feel under Dennis Allen being came from a defensive background? Um, this is my first defensive head coach, so, you know, his hands-on, he's hands-on with it. He's putting his fingerprint on it, so that's, it's new for me. And I got to ask you, me and him were watching you with, uh, when DBH caught it. DH, and we both, oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. It's yeah, all good. Sorry. Coming out of my mouth too fast, folks. Uh, we were both saying, hey, he would have lit him up if that was real. And somebody said, no, he would have took uh, Branch's lunch money. What do you have to say about that? Um, I don't really do too much talking, man. I, I try to let my game speak for itself. And, you know, come game time, I guess I'll show you guys what I do. What, what can we expect from you uh, this season as far as, I mean, anything that you want to improve on personally, work on? I want to improve on everything, you know. I want to do whatever I can to make this defense better. I think uh, we have a lot of talent over there and we could be a great defense. And so whatever I can do to make us better. Last season's game, the last game against the Chargers, uh, I was in the locker room and it's kind of a lot of heads down. Disappointing, you know. Um, coming in with a new coach, whole new, I mean, there's a lot of changes going on. How, how does that feel for the players? How, what are, are they liking it? Or is there anything that... Uh, really stands out to you guys i mean um it's a it's a new regime and you know those guys they're on a path they're on a mission and you know they're rallying us and we're on a mission with them so we're just all following the leaders you're kind of one of the veteran guys now uh in the in the secondary uh how are some of the other young guys coming along i know that spencer and bartell came along but you got got Chequa and dvd and how are those guys coming along dvd and Chequa, man they've been making some big plays for us you know uh, you know DVD, these past couple of days, he's been doing some great things. You know, Chindi has been getting a lot of balls out. You know, he's been getting his hand on a lot of balls. So those two guys are coming along strong, and, you know, that's what we need them to do. What role do you play in, in helping them out, or, or do you kind of let the coaches do most of that? I let the coaches do their thing, man. And when they make a play, I'm always there to support. And, you know, when they mess up, I'm there to pick them up. So I just try to give them the moral support, and I let the coaches do their thing. I was told that Dennis Allen sits in on a lot of the meetings now. And what about Reggie McKenzie? Is he around a lot? Is he really getting his hands in and uh, getting more on a personal level with the players? Um, I've been seeing Reggie around a lot. You know, he's always around. He's eating lunch and dinners with us, and uh, he's always on the sidelines. So he's around a lot. We see him a lot. Now I'm going to make a joke. You're going to have to look up the old school Raiders in L.A. We wear the silver, we wear the black because they're on the wrap. And you, you just got to check it out and then give them a hard time about it. All right, I will do that. Okay. This is Tyvon Branch. Check out RaidersSideline.com.